So as you guys know, I am not really someone super tapped into the VTuber sphere. It's really not my cup of tea. It's not my, uh, I don't really understand it, you know? I, I don't hate it, necessarily. I don't just immediately default to hate for things that I don't get that are popular, but, um, it's certainly just not my cup of tea, right? Uh, however, with that in mind, uh, I do have an open one. You know, I have an open mind. I'm not, I'm not like, closed-minded. I'm not a hater, right? I've got friends that are VTubers, you know? I understand that the VTuber space, like, apparently, like, 99% of the time is normal, fine people. But I have seen a worrying trend that seems... Well, it's really in no way constrained to the VTuber community. I've seen it happen in a lot of other spaces, but I feel it's time that the VTuber space got its own dedicated segment about this. You see, there seems to be a trend of VTuber content creators getting radicalized to the right, and it's usually through VTuber news content. And there is a small handful of content creators, one of the largest being a familiar face on the channel, that has had a very large influence on the rest of the VTube community. And it's led to a rise in these cutesy, uwu, anime girl avatar VTubers making cringe, like, basement dweller, brain rot, anti-woke grift videos. And an example is a content creator that I have been requested to cover by my Discord called Smug Alana. Uh, this is the channel that I have been requested to cover. And apparently, she used to do videos that were, like, generally not that bad crazy but now she's doing videos like ubisoft's wokeness runs deeper than you think why do men think like this meme monday uh the stupid you know she does the stupidest wars in history it gets like no views but the wokeness stuff gets way more views and less time um the modern audience is affecting japan is this is the video we're going to be covering this is the sequel to ghost of uh tsushima is ghost of yote i guess is how it's pronounced i'm not not Japanese, so I don't know. Doomed to fail because of girl bossing? Sydney Watson react. Um, actually, I don't think this is the video. Also, watching Sydney Watson. A lot of these videos are reacting to conservatives. Ah, Shuan heads on here. I wonder why. Um, anyway. Essentially, this content creator used to just do pretty, you know, innocent react videos and is slowly slowly, you know, dipping into the anti-woke stuff. And it's weird. Every time I cover a VTuber that's become right-wing, and I upload my response to them, fans of them that also watch me post that they didn't know that this VTuber in question, or insert any VTuber, was like that. Because apparently a lot of these content creators divide their content up into two categories. VTuber content, that is to say content about the VTube community, up, you know, news, drama, that kind of stuff, and their normal stuff, which is like this. And so a lot of these people blow up by just talking about other VTubers and VTuber drama, and then their audience sticks around and gets perhaps radicalized by this content. And so uh, we're going to take a look at her video. Is a voice, is a woke voice actor going to ruin Ghost of Yote? Rev says Desu react. That's right, guys. We're doubling up today. We're doubling up today. For those who don't know, the reason why we know of Rev Says Desu on this channel is because he is a uh, sort of longtime uh, enemy of this uh, of this uh, circle here. You see, uh, he years ago uploaded a video following the success of the anime Cyberpunk Edge Runners with a video called uh, "The Lolly Stays" or something like that, and it was a picture of Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And um, I was a little confused by this. The the framing of it was, like, based the lolly stays. Like, it was implying that it was, like, good or based to, like, lolly. So I was like, okay, this looks a little weird. And so I covered the video on stream. And essentially what he was doing was claiming that the very much adult character in Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Rebecca, is a lolly. And the goal of doing this, quite explicitly so 
was to muddy the definition of lolly to sometimes also include adult women, so that dudes who make it their identity to be attracted to lollies can have a little bit of, you know, ambiguity, I guess, in the perception of people online. I called this out for what it was, and of course got massively dogpiled, because he is a much larger content creator, backed by much larger content creators than even he, like Asmongold and, you know, other figures that are just big streamers that react to shit like that. And so, we're gonna watch a video of this uh, Smug Alana VTuber reacting to Rev Says Desu and talking about how this voice actor is bad and is going to ruin this game. Mind you, this is just another part of this trend that's gotten really big in this space where the anti-woke sphere has jumped from just boycotting and shit-talking shows to specifically overtly targeting the actors and voice actors and cast of shows and movies they call woke, where it's like, oh, did a bunch of harassment go out towards this actress who's playing a character that the, the internet's mad about? Did they respond in a way that's even somewhat not perfect well now we're open to just absolutely shit on them and make them into a figure a pariah to attack right so let's watch this we're not going to watch all of it because it's like 30 minutes long and we're watching a reaction we're reacting to a reaction so yeah let's get into this i need you to understand that this is like i saw that mr shippo God damn it. I need you guys to understand that this content, for me, is, like, genuinely, uh, I, I can't stand it, alright? I am gritting my teeth and bearing through this, okay? Ugh. Fucking hell. I, I need, I need Gooners just, I, I need Gooners gone, guys. I need Gooners, I, I'm becoming more anti-Gooner by the day, alright? Maybe I am asexual, aromantic, because every day I see gooners and I, I want them to disappear more and more. Post, uh, friend of the stream, uh, Twitter, Twitter extraordinaire shit post. He was preemptively blocked by them, even though he- Alright. Alright, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that's gonna get used against me and I don't give a single solitary fuck, alright? Have you ever heard a girl speak over the internet and you just hear the pick me voice? I, li listen, just tell me you hear it too, please. Tell me I'm not the only one who has learned to clock this shit. The pick me voice. I don't know how, but there is a tone of voice and a, a way of speaking that like pick me's love to... Like, there's a few different categories, but this is one of them. And it just, you know it. Like, if your voice, if her voice is obnoxious to you and you're annoyed by it, it's because you are detecting it and you don't recognize it. For a second, I thought you said pygmy voice. No, pick me voice. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that tone. Yeah, just, just listen to a bit more. He's never interacted with them. Yeah. Apparently he never tweeted at them. They just have like a block list, but let's see it. I'm learning. Learning what to look out for, chat. Hey, what's up guys, Rip here. So apparently this is this drama that is motivating harassing the voice actress playing the main character of the Ghost of Tsushima sequel is because the voice actress had Rev Says Desu blocked on Twitter. That's it. So after the failure Hello. of Concord, among other things, Sony really needs a win right now. And they're trying to do that with this <laughs> recent announcement of an upcoming project, Ghost of Yote, which is presumably a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, which is a very successful game, one that is used as a comparison point to Assassin's Creed Shadows because people look at Ghost of Tsushima and they say that is a very well-researched game when it comes to yeah. Japanese history and culture, as opposed to Assassin's Creed Shadows, where Ubisoft did not do such a good job at their research. How and that's why Ubisoft... I really just don't buy these talking points consider how much these people have just gone off of rumors somebody who's actually conservative and right-leaning commented this recently on one of my videos i've actually noticed um a pretty high up uptick in conservative viewers of my channel 
and uh, including on stream. Not like my content is is like becoming right wing and appealing to conservatives, but that there is a wave of conservatives online right now that are trying out lefty content because something is causing them to feel dissatisfied with the content creators and the right that they have been watching. And so one of those things uh, that is, I've had pointed out to me about these anti-woke grift YouTubers is that so much of their content is based off of rumors that never end up coming true. A really good example that's relevant to this topic is Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, they've spread a rumor for a while now that originally Yasuke wasn't in the game and they had a fully realized, designed, voice acted, and written uh, Japanese protagonist that they wrote out of the game and replaced in response to the George Floyd protest. I'm not joking. That This is what the rumor from the 4chan post that originated the rumor claims, that the, that the George Floyd protests led to... Uh, Ubisoft wanted to capitalize off of the BLM movement, and so they made Yasuke, and then they continue. the rumor continues to go on to say, this is the origin of this rumor, that they specifically designed him to look, lo look like George F Floyd, and then goes on to say, because George Floyd has been ordained as the messiah of the woke religion. That is the post that originates the rumor that many of these content creators rolled with that Yasuke was a like added in the last three months before the trailer to the game right and now they're claiming that the game is being delayed a few months so that they can remove Yasuke from the game in response to the backlash from gamers because the game got delayed and uh, Ubisoft is currently hitting a big drop in their income and stock uh, value due to the failure of Star Wars Outlaws, which guess what? They also claim is because of Woke because it was a financial failure. Anything that fails financially, they'll call Woke. Anything they think will fail financially, they'll call Woke. If it doesn't fail financially, they'll walk it back. That is the, that's the formula. That's what they do. Ubisoft also moved their release date because of this game, apparently. People are speculating, but it's probably a good reason to move it. However, a lot of people are concerned. How fucking perfect. Where I talk about conservative content creators, or conservative content viewers are now watching more left-wing content, at least on my channel. Because they're getting tired of the speculation and rumor reporting and posting that never ends up being true. That's just being used as a basis to make another video complaining about a game so that they can, like, grift ad money off of it. The fact that so much of what they have to say is just rumors and, you know, theories that originate from anonymous posts on 4chan from people whose uncle's dad's brother works at Ubisoft. It's like, imagine this level of reporting being acceptable in any other field. Only in this space where there is so little seriousness and shame in the first place is it acceptable to base your reporting off of such flimsy evidence. Nobody, like, there is no real journalism in the anti-woke space, right? It's not a serious space, and so they don't have serious journalists. It's all, like, the most they have as evidence to back up their beliefs is, like, videos of things happening that directly go against data. Like, they'll claim, here's a video of a, of a thing happening, and you're like, okay, well, that's all well and cool that you have a video of that happening. You might even have dozens of videos of it happening, or hundreds, but... The statistical data suggests that's actually the minority of cases, and these people don't care. They they believe what they see in, like, three YouTube videos. They see, like, two or three videos of a thing, and they think that is what's going on. That is the trend. That is the majority of cases. That is how these people think. ...concerned about this game. Not because oh, of any no. concerns about gameplay or what have you. They're concerned about the people involved with this project, whether it's some of the developers, but mainly the choice of the actress behind the presumed main protagonist of this upcoming release. Can I just say my first thought is, I don't know why, but they just don't look very... They... It, it just looks like they're pissed off. Why would you use this, like, still shot of... Of the main character of the series looking like that. They look pissed. Don't- Hey chat, why do you guys think people watch this creator? I, I'm being such an asshole here, but like, why do you think people watch this creator? Just based off of the last, like, two minutes of commentary we've seen, why do you think people are... Yeah, yeah, I think you guys know. There's... Uh, listen, I... Li, squad W, chat. Squad W, that's all I'm saying. 
Don't buy it. Why are we making money? Why are we making money? <laughs> First thing, bitch face looks disgusted. It just looks like they're very annoyed. Yeah, there's never been a case in which a video game protagonist, uh, mind you, this is literally a, uh, do they realize that this is like a YouTuber's tweet of an article that they wrote, it seems? Yeah. Tells gamers that they don't like, go yeah, this is an article they wrote on their site and they used a picture of the main character looking angry. Why would you? So let me tell you what just happened here. She is reacting to a conservative article where there is an image used for the article of the character, as she says, looking angry and having resting bitch face and wondering why did they use this image for her as if Ubisoft did it and not the YouTuber who wrote this anti-woke article that chose to use this screen grab. Actively falling for it in real time. And... As a result of that, a former Sony chairman has said, well, if you don't like Ghost of Yote, then don't buy it. A well, that's why you're former Sony chairman, because you're former, because they probably fired you because you suck at your job. Duh. I mean, there's several that probably should look kind of grimy and pissed off. I guess. Maybe it's just a nitpick. Maybe it's just me being nitpicky. A strategy we have seen Possible. blow up in the faces of people in the past. Now, before we get into that, instead of that logic, you should buy this new <laughs> Rev and Straub collection with Advanced GG. Oh, we have another... Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh, did you guys know that um Rev says Desu's character is a stolen design? I've in the past um I've accused uh, Rev says Desu of being like a uh, pedo adjacent due to the avatar. Apparently the avatar is an adult in the show that it's ripped from, though I really don't give much of a fuck about that. Um Th but it is just straight up a character ripped from an anime. Rev says this is Avatar is. And then on top of that, I found out recently from a personal DM I got um, and an app from, I believe it was um, uh, um, uh, uh, Bredu in chat, uh, added me with uh, the same thing, showing me that an artist has come out confirming that Nuxtaku's avatar is a stolen Sans fan art. From years and years and years and years ago, they made. Um, Rev says Desu stole the human sans art and then made it into his avatar explicitly. I, I think this is probably a really common trend that a bunch of these big VTubers are using ex obscure stolen art for their rigs. Because how the fuck do you start VTubing without a decent, like, unless you have money to put down? to pay a Fiverr artist for the art and the rigging of a VTuber avatar, which I feel like would be a bit expensive. I mean, I'm sure there's cheap options, but I mean, to get in at a high quality, it's gonna be a bit expensive. I'm pretty sure my rig costs 250 bucks. I'm assuming that's like a starting cost too, right, Pepper T21? Yeah, you've gotta be willing to invest a bit to get into this, so it wouldn't surprise me if a bunch of designs are stolen. And uh, yeah, Rev says Desu is one of the people who's, uh, VTube design is stolen and somehow no legal anything has come after. So G Fuel is literally using a already licensed owned character that Rev says Desu doesn't have ownership of and or not G Fuel. I don't know what this is. Is this G Fuel? I don't know what company this is. One of those gamer drink companies uh, is accidentally breaching the copyright of a production anime production and animation company. That because Rev is doing that and they don't know advanced energy. Yeah. Shit. With me and my wife. We're not. We're not doing Ishii. this ad bit right now. A lot of people are combing right. through her social media accounts, in particular her Twitter account. That's a lot of. That's a lot of followers. I've never heard of this person. And they're finding a lot of very political and divisive tweets that are really rubbing them the wrong way. Now, a lot of false flaggers are trying to basically dismiss the concerns about her as people just being angry about a female protagonist in this game. You can see the shill account Culture Crave saying, no doubt, in response to a comment saying, let me guess the... Let me guess the needs to touch grass community are mad it's a woman. <sighs> I thought Culture Rave was like... Just there to bring up news. I thought yeah, they were just they a are. news account, man. Uh, any, anybody who does not complain nonstop about minorities in media, any new media, uh, or like the wokeness or whatever, is considered a shill. 
Uh, hell, if you happen to like something that is deemed woke garbage by the internet, you're called a shill. Do you know how many times I've been accused of being paid by Amazon because I like Rings of Power? Like, fair enough if you despise it, right? But, like, the idea that you cannot even conceptualize a realm in which someone likes something that you consider woke trash is just... It, it tells me that there's no seriousness to it, right? Like, there's no real... Um, like conviction to an idea there it's just sort of reacting it's just kind of running with the flow joining up with a bandwagon for the sake of being part of something he needs to touch grass community are mad it's a woman and keep Oof. in mind this is the same person who helped promote the japanese historian yu hirayama and his claims that yasuke in assassin's creed shadows is a actual samurai in real life oh I love this, by the way. They've been nonstop claiming, um, yes, so uh, Japan hates Assassin's Creed Shadows. Meanwhile, they can't find, like, Japanese people to complain about it. There is no, like, Japanese pushback against AC Shadows. Um, and they have to, like, cancel and dogpile Japanese historians that are coming out to say, well, no, he technically was. He was on retainer for a lord. Like, that. that is what, in modern day, we consider a samurai. That category is a little vague it's not necessarily a uh, a very hard line right like there isn't a a stone somewhere where god himself etched the definition of the word samurai right and so culture in japan like society in general historically remembers him and reveres him as a samurai and so the game that is literal historical fiction that is the category that Assassin's Creed has always been under, is opting for the popular interp or interpretation of Yasuke being a samurai so he can be a badass main character in the game. And, we're, like, it's crazy that the most interesting-looking Assassin's Creed game in a while, like, the, the Assassin's Creed game that's finally delivering what fans have asked for for so long is the one they're deciding to attack because black person, right? Like, everybody's wanted Assassin's Creed Japan for so long. They're giving us two different characters so they can, like, focus on... On different aspects of the game with those characters where um one of them is more stealth focused the other is more combat focused and can't even climb and parkour it's like it's one of the most interesting takes on assassin's creed that we've had in in a decade it feels like and they've decided this is the game that they are going to make the next thing to attack to to make sure fails they want it to fail they're trying to make it fail so they can be proven right because if it ends up succeeding, then you'll believe this will get memory hold faster than anything else, and no one's going to speak or whisper of Assassin's Creed Shadows in this space ever again if it ends up being a success. It'll get memory hold faster than, than anything. Okay, never mind. Okay, they've always been like this. Okay, at least they're consistent, chat. At least they're consistent. I did not know they were the person that was promoting this. I completely forgot. <laughs> it's they were the just, person? Like, a blurry mess to me as well and of course they are citing someone who is a member of the japanese that's kind of the intention this is somebody who apparently according to fans of her that have been messaging me this video to cover um this is someone who they've watched in real time get radicalized and you can kind of tell she's not all with it with these arguments right like she agrees with it because she agrees with it if that makes sense and the chat is cheering it along right if the chat was pushing against the things being said in this video and was having a negative reaction to it, she would immediately fold to what her chat wants. Her chat requests this content. Her chat is part of this community. She's probably an orbiter of these figures and has a lot of shared audience. And so she is just folding to audience capture. It's a big part of what causes content creators to get radicalized like this. And people have watched it in real time. Communist Party who doesn't believe in empirical evidence to support claims about Japanese history, which is absolutely what? insane. But these are the real concerns. This is what people are the talking about when they're crackers. focusing on Erika Ishii. So you can see her tweets, very political, very divisive, and the type of stuff people don't want. I, I love this implication that the voice actor for a character could have any impact whatsoever on, like, the the game's content, right? Like, the, the political beliefs of the voice actor are such a big problem. You have to remember, these people, the ones who complain and bitch about cancel culture, getting people fired, are literally building a movement, and this is us watching it in real time, centered around demonizing workers in the entertainment industry that have politics they don't like. They want this person fired. That is why they have concerns over the political posts. That is why they are making videos. They want harassment. They want her to either quit or to get fired. That is the goal. 
Where does the term chud come from? It used to meant like um, cave underground uh, uh, dweller or something like that. It comes from a movie, um, but now it's just sort of a Gen Z term for like people who have right-leaning politics and are cringe about it and don't really understand anything. <laughs> Ironically, chud being a Gen Z term is kind of like the polar end of the weird like right wing swing among Gen Z. Honestly, a whole lot of virtue signaling, her saying various political things, even promoting the American How Democratic dare she Party disagree and, with you? Uh, sharing a tweet and signal boosting a tweet that is encouraging people. I am privileged to go running and generally live my life without fear for my safety due to the color of my skin. It's a right to ev everyone deserves demand justice who live oppressed. Okay. I'm just like wondering what faces are being made by the real person on the other Can side I of the avatar. Can just say that like it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is when you're a woman, and sometimes there just is an inherent fa re an inherent risk of you running at night. Okay, so the reason why, because maybe she ends up seeing this, and I mean maybe she'll watch it on stream. That would be funny. Um, maybe she ends up seeing this, and I want there to be a real argument, you know? So, obviously, in a situation where you're walking at night alone, uh, realistically, you're actually statistically not in a crazy amount of danger, even as a woman. Um, it's still one of those situations, like, swimming in, in like, murky seawater, where it's like, yeah, I know I'm more likely to get, like, X'd off the census by, uh, like, a vending machine or lightning striking me, but, um... I'm really not comfortable here, and I feel like a shark is going to bite me in half. Like, that's most people in deep, murky, dark water. Even though they know the statistics, they're still worried. Even in deep, clear water, they're still worried about that, right? And so, like, walking at night for women, kind of a fear like that. Or flying on planes if you're afraid of heights. That's more relatable for me, because uh, I'm not afraid of the ocean. But heights, being on a plane, I'm sweating the whole time. I'm literally sweating bullets anytime I'm on a plane. I'm terrified. I just, I, I look out the window still, because I can't not look out the window, but I'm still scared as fuck. Th even though I know there is like a nothing chance of the plane crashing and me getting hurt or dying, right? Um, and so with that in mind, uh, the real issue, the fear that people of color, women of color, I should clarify, have uh, that is sort of separate from this isn't really so much the fear of something happening, but more so the fear of something being done about it. There has been a long term trend of even children who are black or brown going missing, being abducted, dying and not ha like being found or accounted for and the police and just general response to the missing child or missing woman have been really lackluster in comparison to like well there's literally a phrase for it it's not even just a woke term it's just a an internet phrase for it missing white woman syndrome right when a white woman goes missing there's a good chance it ends up becoming a whole talk, like a whole news story for at least a day, right? And this is famously not the case, even if a black child goes missing, right? Um, and that is why there is sort of a perception of disproportionate response or care or prevention of uh, women of color when it comes to their safety. So, yeah, I don't think you're necessarily safer walking at night as a white woman than as a woman of color, but there are those factors as well. And then if you want to account for, like, statistical factors too, if you're a woman of color walking at night in a city, then statistically speaking, you're probably walking in a lower-income neighborhood, and lower-income neighborhoods typically have higher crime. And if you're a white woman walking in a city, then there is a higher statistical chance that you are in a slightly, not super, but slightly higher-income area according to statistics, unless that's, you're less likely to have crime done to you. It could still happen, but it's less likely. And so there's also a statistical uh, higher rate of violent crime done on women of color than white women. You can look up these statistics if you want. In fact, you know what? I don't like just saying things like this. I like showing it. Women of color violent crime victims versus white women that's right we're making it a contest the fact is it's not a contest here or anything like that it's just more so if there's a group of people that is especially affected by a problem then naturally you would want to do something about that right 
Um, yeah, so despite being a much smaller proportion of the population, um, victims of violent crime who are black make up almost the same exact percentage as white. So you got to remember, white people are, or black people are a pretty small minority of the country. What was what the meme? Like 13, 14%. Um, and despite that, this, the rate, the point rate, here I'm, I'll share the screen, the point rate for total violent crime done on white uh, and black women is almost equal. Almost neck and neck. Hispanic, almost up there too, despite being, I think, a smaller minority. And actually, this is in line with the post. 9.8 per, uh, compared to the more than double if you're Asian, Native Hawaiian, or other Pacific Islander. And I'm pretty sure the voice actress is Asian, uh, considering she voices the Japanese protagonist in uh, uh, the new... Ghost of Tsushima sequel. So, yeah, statistically, her post was completely right. If you're Ada, uh, Asian, Native Hawaiian, um, or Pacific Islander, you are statistically far less likely than if you're uh, black or Hispanic to be assaulted, and including if you're white. So technically, she was including white women here in her post. She's Asian and saying that her race has made her safer in this context, which is statistically shown in these violent crime statistics across the board, down the line. She is safer. Um... And white women are, are included in that as being in more danger. Technically, they're in the most because they are the majority. You've got to remember, the reason why white women are at the top here isn't because they get targeted the most, but they are the majority. White women make up the majority of women in the country, so it makes sense they would be such a high per, uh, point amount. But then when you consider the lower percentage of black and Hispanic women, it being so close to the same amount as white women shows that there's not a much, much racial discrimination in who is, you know, targeting who here, but there is still an outcome difference that validates that post. They said nothing wrong. Or like in the daylight or in like a bad neighborhood or something. It's not about skin color, man. Able to vote and raise funds for Kamala. And this is really where a lot of this um this radicalization comes from because a lot of it is a lot of the people being pulled into it genuinely don't know that they are. And I don't know if um, Smug Alana does here. I, I don't think she does. Um, by the looks of it, she genuinely thinks that it's like the woke people obsessing with race and gender and identity. And they're politicizing every topic, all the media, and they, they can't get over it. Um, and so they believe they're like egalitarians who just care about like... They don't care. They just care about the content of someone's character, not the color of their skin, right? And they don't like that people are caring about it so much when it comes to casting and the uh, the writing of their stories. That is the perspective that they have. And the content creators that, you know, trick them into believing that's how, like, that's anti-woke. You need to be anti-woke to fight against that narrative because it's really the left that are bigoted now. That is one of the most effective lines to radicalization to the right that there is. That is how I got there. Back then, the narrative was that the regressive left were the new right wing. They were the new bigots, the new racists. They would go on about the bigotry of low expectations and whatnot. Yeah. Hey, Abby Gretel, welcome. But, but again, like... Explaining it to these people is like they're, they're just throwing it in your face. Harris and all these other things. You know an activist when you I would, see it in this... Smug Alana, please. I would love to have an on-stream conversation with you. I don't even have to come onto your stream if you don't want to give me a platform. You can come onto my stream. So there's no like platform I gain from you. Um, we can have a conversation about this Assassin's Creed Shadows stuff. I would absolutely love to talk about, like, the Rev says Death Sue, Assassin's Creed Shadows, the, what wokeness is and what anti-wokeness is. Um, I would absolutely love to have that conversation. If you believe that people on the left, people who quote-unquote support this cannot defend it and, uh, you know, are, are incapable of arguing, then this should be a layup for you. Should be an easy win. Should be a, a W on a silver platter I'm offering. No reason to reject. Raises a lot of red flags for people when it comes to a video game, something that's supposed to be entertainment, and you have someone who is mixing their personal opinions and political opinions with their business account, and that's the result you get right here. 
And this screenshot's been floating around with some of her greatest hits. Let's read through it. So this first one says also- Mind you, these people will literally riot if someone gets fired for their right-wing political opinions they post on Twitter. My, like the entire anti-cancel culture movement started because Roseanne Barr tweeted some racist shit and lost her TV show. And now like they're just overtly like, okay, so here is why we need to basically build an entire internet harassment campaign against this voice actress. She tweeted some things we disagree with. Can't help but notice the article focused mostly on the mechanics of our game and not which Pokemon is most effable, which we spent far more time on in that episode. But fine, I guess I'll be the one to just keep up, keep us focused up on the. Wait, are we? Are, are Lollicons actually going to moralize about the memes about fuckable Pokemon to me? I've never liked that trend, and I've never taken part in it because I found it weird. And uh, definitely bordering on normalizing bestiality. Um, you can, you guys can scream at me for that if you want to, but I, I do think it is. So I'd, I've never liked that trend, but that is like an internet trend. The, like, fuckable Pokemon tier list, like, that's not... Like, that's not, like, some thing that you've dug up. This is from March. <laughs> this is from earlier this year. This was literally a meme, like, a year ago. Also, these are lolly... Well, I don't know if... I don't know if this YouTuber is lollycon. She's I'm probably confused. not. But Rev says Jesse is. Is this a joke post is. or not? Is this a joke post or not? I'm confused. Is, is this supposed to be parody? Like, haha, I'm being sarcastic? I actually can't tell. I'm... The important question. So this is the type of stuff, a, a, a statement here that a lot of game. Both Vosh and Shu partook in that trend, if I recall correctly. Listen, 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 okay? That is not a good argument against that claim when you consider one of those people is Shu, who's a conservative, and the other is Vosh, who, you know. Games journalists would cancel you for normally, but because she says it, it's stunning and brave. Here's another one saying, abolish the police. It is unconscionable to allow this racist institution that terrorizes the citizens they are sworn to protect. Abolish the police. So I know oh, out there Christ. there's some law enforcement watching this video. Just know, according to her, you're not welcome in her spaces. And any fa- Dude, the, the like, hey, just know, this voice actor, you're not welcome in her spaces. You're like the literally speaking directly to the audience to get them to believe that this person hates them so they have an internal moral justification to attack this person. Like, you, you there is literally a meta- on YouTube right now, centered around uh, gathering people together and goading them into internet harassment campaigns against actresses, voice actors, and um, just any cast in a in a piece of media they deem woke. She sounds like Nuxtaku, but worse. She just has the the pick me voice, is what it is. Like it's the pick me inflection, pick me voice, the pick me way of speaking. You know. It's, it's just, I, I recognize it, and it's very cringe to me. Um, not a big fan. I think we've probably seen enough of this, because we're not going to end up getting any real arguments here. By the looks of it, it's just going over her tweets being left-wing. Memeology, oh, apparently Memeology101 started this because he tweeted about uh, this actri voice actress blocking him. For those that don't know, Memeology101 is one of the first YouTubers I ever got into drama with. Um, he made a video about, God, it was it was years ago. It was back during the Unite the Right rally um, protest. After a neo-Nazi ran over and murdered Heather Heyer, he made a video backing up ER, uh, who was p uh, pushing around the now very much established false conspiracy theory that uh, she had just died of a heart attack. The narrative was that the Nazi was innocent, he didn't murder her, and that because she was a fat liberal, she died of a heart attack because she got scared of the car, quote-unquote, driving quickly by. Meanwhile, it's like the video, the drone footage is like barreling through a sea of people. Um, but it uh, killed the lady, Revs, or not Revs' Desu, ER, uh, the uh, the Nazi anime review YouTuber, kind of like the, the grandfather of this genre that we're kind of looking at right now. Um, Ended up claiming that she died of a heart attack. Uh, Memology 101 backed this up, and he was also doing a lot of JQing back then. He was very mask off because, like, Memology 101 is a Nazi. He ended up making a video response to me, which ended up with me getting a lot of hate, like a lot of harassment. I was I was like 3,000 subs back then. He had hundreds of thousands, 
And uh, I ended up getting a lot, a lot, a lot of hate. And um, his response to me, like his one argument against my claims that he's far right was that he's, uh, he's, he's Hispanic. He's South American. Because as we all know, it is impossible for a Hispanic guy to be a Nazi. It's never, ever happened. And it's not even so common that it's a meme. Never. Not once. This was years and years ago, uh, redo. Years and years ago. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all that we have to say about this topic. It is unfortunate to see that such a large community, such as the VTuber community, is falling into darkness like this. So sad. Too bad. With that said, though, if you enjoyed this segment and you thought what I had to say was entertaining, knowledgeable, or, you know, entertaining anything valuable whatsoever consider dropping a like if you haven't already no matter when where or what you drop those on it helps the channel a lot comment down below to help get this video and the view the eyes of more people get it more views it helps a ton and you can subscribe and ring the bell icon if you want youtube to tell you when i go live or upload new videos otherwise trust me they won't do so Famously, YouTube just won't do it. And of course, consider following my, uh, joining, sorry, my fan Discord, link down below in the description if you haven't already. It's totally free, and I host game events, call and streams, watch parties, and announce all my new uploads and streams there. So even if YouTube's fucking up, at least you'll know my Discord is reliable. And finally, if you want to support me directly, financially, consider doing so by donating, subscribing, gifting a sub on my website, or supporting me financially through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Patreon, or buying merch at the Streamlabs link down below. Regardless of how you support me, whether you donated to help keep the lights on here at the Xander Hall studio, or you're just hanging out and lurking in chat, I really do appreciate it, and have a good one. <laughs>